So I've gotten a few requests to show off my DMing kit. I've mentioned a few times on Twitter, and I uh, posted a series of photos a while ago, but it's kind of hard to go back through Twitter and find old content. So I thought I'd do a quick video and just throw this up on YouTube or someplace where it can be easily linked to. So if in the future anyone asks about it, <laughs> I can just point them in, in to, the, to this video. So uh, the main piece here is this uh, Rick Steves travel bag. Uh, it's sized for an iPad. Um, and what I like about it is uh, Rick Steves, is a, he has a, a travel show on PBS. And so his line of stuff is aimed at travelers. So this is a small bag. Uh, it's perfectly sized for my iPad, but it's got also lots of extra uh, little nooks and crannies and storage uh, uh, spots that even though the bag isn't very big, uh, it carries a lot. And I've augmented that with this uh, pencil case that I bought at Target. And what I like about this pencil case is first it's got this loop here that has a button on the end that on the opposite side here, you can take this, you can button it in and it will form a little loop there. And what I can do is loop that through this uh, upper handle here in the bag. Then I have this other little bag, I also got a Target, same brand, I think it's a UB, uh, Y-O-O-B-I. Uh, and this little baggie here has got this little loop here, little handle. I can just loop this through here and through here and then button it shut. So I'll start with these two. Let's start with the pencil bag. Uh, this one zips shut. And what's nice about it here is I unzip it. Is this is where I can keep all my dice and my dry erase markers. Uh, so I got my dice in there. And the nice thing is I like these dry erase markers. The uh, I'll show one to you. They've got erasers on the end, which is nice. So I don't actually have to worry about carrying around like extra uh, cleaning fluid or something like that. The uh, U Brands Magnetic Dry Erase Marker. So I've got a number of colors and this handy little eraser up here. So that's one less thing I have to carry because it's built right into the tip. And then obviously in here, dice, there it is. So dry erase markers, a bunch of those and some dice. This is actually probably a little bit more I found than I need. So I may call this bag down a little bit. Uh, maybe have fewer dice, fewer markers, but I don't ask me fewer dice. What kind of gamer am I? <laughs> and then uh, in this bag here, um, this is where I keep uh, a bunch of counters. If you played fourth edition, or familiar with the product line. I'm gonna to try to open this up one-handed. Uh, so it'll leave screen, oh, here we go, I can do it on screen. You can show me do it now, to do it here. Um, but if you played fourth edition, we did a starter set that came with uh, a number of sort of generic tokens. And so that's what's in here. If you open this bag boy up, got two things in here. So what I do is I have this bag of actually cardboard stand-ups. Uh, this is some of uh, Steve Jackson games that are re- uh, uh, issue. These are Cardboard Heroes. So it's a line from, uh, I think, back in the 80s when they first published them. I like the fact, if you look at the art, it's pretty colorful. It was custom, it's made for use in these tokens, so I find it's pretty easy to identify them from a distance, so I like them. So we got these tokens here. These are stand-ups with their bases. I use these for characters. And then in this little bag here, I have these little generic tokens that came with the 4th edition starter set. Um... This side is for fourth edition. If monsters less than half a point, so it's bloodied. So one side's bloodied, uh, and one side is like this. But this is actually kind of nice because I can flip it to show something's happened to it. Um, so these are size large ones. There's one that's like for a mount. Obviously, that's what it says on it. Uh, and there's a bunch of size medium ones that are either numbered. So this one is just labeled hazard or minion or whatever you know. So I like using the tokens for monsters because it means the characters stand out. Uh, and since they're generic, I don't have to worry about trying to match everything up. So I, I find it's easier just to say the minion is a kobold than like, oh, that miniature of a troglodyte is actually a kobold. So that is basically my little miniatures, which I don't always use, uh, but it's nice, nice to have that option. And Dyson dry erase markers. And the bag itself, the main, so there's going to see two zippers up here. This one is actually an extender. Um, if you have like on your suitcase or luggage, you can... Uh, unzip this to expand the space needed in the bag. I actually don't need to use it for my, my loadout here. So let's open the main body. In one hand. I'll hold my phone to record. And here we go. And I'll show you what's inside. So this is the main stuff I've got here. Uh, first thing, I've got a dry erase board. This is like, it was originally like a, a magnet uh, back board. I tore those off because I just didn't need them. Because uh, it's a perfect size to just take notes. This is what I use the dry erase markers mainly for. I'll track initiative here, monster hit points. Anything I need to track during the game rather than using paper, I use this. Um, especially for combat. Um, again, it just means that rather than having to carry around a pad of paper, I can just carry on one little uh, dry erase board. 
Um, in addition, what I've found is if I am using natures, I want to use a grid. So these are little dungeon uh, tiles. These are dry erase tiles. I think it's, um, the company I think is called Roll 4, Number 4 Initiative. Um, and so these are little five by five tiles. So assembled, it's a 10 by 10 square area. This is usually big enough to cover any battlefield I have. So again, the nice thing is since they are puzzle piece assembly, I can break them up into these four smaller pieces and they tuck right into the back. And then that's sort of this uh, front area here, this little back thing. This I found at one of the things, especially at conventions, uh, when you're at a table, uh, dice can go flying everywhere. So I went online and found uh, this little guy. This, here, I'm gonna show you. See these buttons here? They snap together. Pinch that in each corner. And this is while it is sold as a little tray that you might use to like for to, to drop your keys in, maybe like you leave them by your door uh, or you know wherever. Uh, it actually is a dice tray. <laughs> so it's nice. If you think it is a generic key tray that anyone might need, I think on eBay, this is not eBay, on Amazon, this is like just a couple bucks. But again, it go, what's nice about it is it folds flat when I unbutton it, but when I button it up, I've got a nice little dice tray. So again, especially at conventions, I keep my dice just in my little compact area. Further going back there, we have my custom DM screen. So this I saw, I will try to find the video and link it here. Uh, I got this off of, uh, the idea off of YouTube. Uh, these are, the individual pieces here are, uh, what you call, for painting, uh, easels. Not easels, whatever, the, yeah, canvases. <laughs> the canvas goes on the easel. This is for easels, that would not be a very effective DM screen. Um, and they're just bound together with uh, white duct tape. And then I grabbed some stickers from around the office or stickers I've got at gaming conventions and slapped them on here. Then in the back, I, this is kind of going back to my past. I, at one point when I was a kid, a high schooler, I worked at a department store and I had to run the trash compactor in the back. And they had this sticky backed pouch that the user's manual was on in case something went wrong. I never, thankfully nothing did go wrong, but I did, hey, I could find some of those pouches and order them. And what do you know, found some on Amazon, ordered a pack of them, figured out the size that matches the size um, of these boards, and then got a set. And then I just went into Microsoft Word and built a little template that would uh, create pages that match the right the, the size of the pouches here, or just about. I might tweak it a bit, because as you can see, yeah, I still have a little more room to play with. Um, but yeah, and I just sort of figured out from the DM screen stuff I might need during a, a pickup game, especially. So I've got just a quick encounter building here. That's actually from Sly Flourish. I grabbed his... Uh, his little quick encounter building guidelines, and then there's the threats by level and severity table from the DMG for traps, um, for anything else that happens. Uh, so then I just know kind of what damage I can throw at the party. And then I have a summary of conditions, just kind of bullet pointed out, and just using some pretty simple MS Word tricks to build tables. Uh, and then over here, uh, one thing I, I just, for whatever reason I find I forget is what, what the skills are in the game. So whenever I ask an ability check, I can just look at this, the ability I'm asking for and just check if the skill uh, matches. And I just made a big list of tools, too, just in case that ever came up. And so that's my DM screen. Again, this is another area where uh, the typical commercial commercial the DM screen with the, the company I work for makes is <laughs> a bit too large to fit in this bag, so I just went out and made a custom one. And then the final piece is, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just my iPad. And I've got, um, you know, access to D&D &D Beyond from this, and then also uh, PDFs from DMs Guild, and um, drive through RPG, or whatever other stuff I'm running. So yeah, that's just, and uh, I just have this sort of, um, I mean, this is an old iPad, you can see it's kind of beaten up, but it's pretty, you know, it's just a typical size iPad. It's an, it's an older model, but it works, gets the job done. Um, so yeah, and if I do have, um, don't have internet access, I do also just, I usually just use, I, I will just use DB Beyond to my phone on, on cell service. If I don't have cell service, I don't have wireless network, uh, probably to deep in the grips of a uh, panic attack to actually run Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> or I would just wing it and try to make it work even without quite knowing the rules. So the, um, now the interesting thing about this is that's everything that I basically use, but this bag is kind of nifty. It still has a few other pouches. I have a, put a few things in in case I need them. So this front pouch, I have some index cards, different colors, just in case players, uh, if I need to take notes, it, it, this is basically a luxury. It's like, well, I guess I have space and the, the kit's pretty light. So I just threw these in here, because why not, so I have the space. 
Sounds like there's a button in here too. This is probably just something just connected. Oh yeah, that was probably that was from the um, from Gary Con. Uh, someone player gave that to me, so I tucked it in my bag. This is a kind of nice thing too for me players. I've got stickers or buttons and stuff. I can just tuck in my kit. And then in here, I've got a uh, power cord for the iPad. Uh, I've got uh, inspiration tokens. Uh, the Adventures League. We made these uh, during the first Adventures League season, the Launcher 40. So those are, those are useful to have. And then in this pouch, I got this little guy. I don't know if they're available anymore, but um, this is a note board. Basically, it's a dry erase little board that folds out. Um, and again, this is something that's kind of nice to have uh, just as an extra. Um, I used to use this as the main surface for my uh, if I needed a battle grid, but I found the tiles work a little bit better for miniatures combat. But this I found since it can fold out to be bigger. Let me check out. Folds out to uh, almost three feet. The uh, by two. This is pretty good if I'm doing a, a bigger sketch. Like let's say the characters are there's like a castle or some pretty like a, a large scale um, location. I might sketch it out on here, and then if I'm using miniatures, use these. So it's like these. I this I use for minis. This I use if I'm just drawing out a scene uh, that I don't think you know I can't put it here because the players will need it. So yeah, so that's my kit. Um, you know, this is something that because I do tend to DM kind of on the road, especially for work. If I go to an event, I got to run Dungeons and Dragons. It's kind of nice just to have one little bag that's got everything I need. And I'm still like, there's an entire pouch in here I'm still not even using yet. Kind of thought about sticking the towel here. This that's actually empty. It's a little pouch between these pouches in the front and the main body. So I've got some room to grow. Um, but yeah, and this is actually what I use when I'm running uh, at the office. Um, I just carry this in, and I've got my campaign notes on uh, my iPad. And with Dini Beyond, I am good to go. So anyway, I hope that was interesting and useful, and maybe it'll inspire you to build your own little DM's kit. Thanks a lot for watching, and take care.